right, now let's talk about food. So everybody's coming, now what? How are you going to, you know, oh my gosh, what are you going to feed them? Oh my gosh, should we feed them, uh, you know, should we juice some wheatgrass and then make a kale salad and maybe do a bunch of baked tofu and some, you know, no. No. <laughs> I say make sure on that guest list that you invite some other plant-based friends, okay? Plant-based friends who you know are really good in the kitchen. Oh man, this is the best thing you could do for yourself, but get them to uh, help you put some dishes together. Do a little planning with them. If you don't have anybody, you know, you're like you're the only plant-based person, that's okay. Then get on here, you know, go over to my uh, Jill McKeever plant-based recipe hoarders group on Facebook and just throw that question out. Yikes, I'm throwing a movie party and I have no idea what to serve. What should I serve? And everybody will jump in. Everyone's happy to share their favorite salads, what works at potlucks. And you can get those recipes in those larger uh, amounts, you know, serves eight to 10. And then you can build your menu from there. Now, based on how many people you're going to invite, that will really depend on how much food you need to make. But I say go for salads. Um, you don't have to get into like a big meal, like you're serving, you know, a big heavy course. Do things that you could, you know, that are like one or two bites, uh, little patties, potatoes, like baked potatoes, even though we love our potatoes. I've seen baked potatoes at potlucks. Those are a little harder to maneuver, like if you're walking around with a paper plate. Sweet potatoes the same way. If you want to serve sweet potatoes at your potluck, um, go ahead, you know, come up with a way where the potato's already broken up or it's cut into slices or something like that. Make it easy for them to uh, scoop it up, put a couple of bites on their plate, and uh, be able to enjoy the food but not have to, like, struggle with it because that's no fun. Soups, ugh, I've seen soups at potlucks. Soups are hard to maneuver. They're easy to make. I mean, as far as like throwing something together in a pot, you know, in an eye pot and carrying it to the potluck, that, that part is easy, but the, the person who has to carry the plate and then carry the bowl and the spoon, and then they've got this plate and this spoon, and even if, even if they have a bowl in their plate, they don't have much room. The bowl takes up too much real estate on the plate. You can't put a lot on your plate. So, <clears throat> So I would think twice about soups. Again, salads, finger foods, things that can just be nibbled on and taste. It's a sampler, okay? It's a sampler. Don't worry about uh, whether everybody's gonna get full or not because if there's plenty to choose from, they'll get full. And hey, if, the, if they don't eat enough, uh, there's another meal around the, around the corner so nobody's gonna starve, okay? Fruit, have a fruit salad. Get a fruit bowl, oh my gosh. You could do f slice fruit, but if you do slice fruit, then make sure that it's already cut up in serving so people can just kind of reach up. If you serve grapes, then go ahead and cut the grapes up where there's like four or five grapes, you know, to a little bunch. You don't have to pull the grapes off the stems, but just, you know, cut them up so they can put a, a few grapes on their plate. Uh, strawberries, leave them whole. Pineapples, slice it up where it's easy to stab with a fork. Um, or do a fruit salad where they can just scoop it up and put it on their plate. Lots and lots of fruit, just in case you have somebody who is just not groovy to anything that you have across the uh, buffet. If they just think everything looks weird, they can still eat a fruit salad. Okay, so have fruit salad there. As far as desserts, I would say do date balls, do little, look at your energy bar treats, your, you know, the chocolate date balls and things like that. You could make a pan of vegan brownies, you know, something like that. Examples that we, you don't have to give up chocolate just because you're going plant-based. Get one of your plant-based friends to help you or a friend who's, you know, interested, who knows how to cook, that can help you uh, bring this food along. Now, if you want your guests, if you, if, no, I would say the first party, if everybody's omnivores, they, they could bring, you know, you could have them bring beverages maybe or something like that if they really insist on bringing something or let them bring the fruit bowl, let them bring the fruit. Uh, but you control like salad dressings for salads. Uh, you control the main dishes, okay? I mean, not main dishes like you're gonna have a main dish, but you control like what's gonna be there for that first party. When you get into potlucks, and you're inviting, we'll get into that in a second, but when you get into potlucks and you're inviting other people that are already kind of on the plant-based wagon, then, you know, then it becomes really, it gets really fun because you can, 
you know, everybody knows what the rules are and then you can, you can feel good about it. Um, when you're, when you're uh, setting your food out, make sure that you label everything. Boy, that's so important because, you know, the confused mind says no. So when you're laying out your food, you know, go ahead, like go over to Hobby Lobby or somewhere where you can buy those little table stands where they, you could put a card in it, you know, it holds a, a little card holder and then put card holders next to all the food and say what it is, you know, give it the, you know, give the title. Uh, if you've got, a, if you've got the recipe out of a cookbook, you could write the cookbook name underneath it. You could, you don't have to call everything vegan. I think that's going to be understood, but you could say, you know, nut free, you could say dairy free or so, you know, anything that might be like a health concern to people. If they have allergies, you might want to say gluten free, nut free, that type of thing. So if, so if somebody has an allergy to something, they know what they can and cannot eat. If you have other people bringing food, then maybe put the person who brought that food, have them put you know, their name on it and have them bring recipes of what they brought so they can share those recipes out with other people. That's really awesome. That works in potlucks. That's food. I think that was pretty, that covers a lot about food. Let's talk about the movies over. Oh gosh, here comes the moment. Everybody's going to have questions. This is where, this is the part where we, we really freak out about, right? Shall we begin?